YouTube. So today we're going to be talking about the Gank Multi Rotors frame. Uh, I have won this one at the Barbecue Bando meetup in Georgia, hosted by the TDA group, Team Drone Adventures. Uh, shout out to them for throwing an amazing event. Had a great time and left with a bunch of free stuff. And can never complain about that. So I'm going to show you how to put this frame together. It's actually a pretty simple one out of all the frames that I've done uh, so far in my opinion the apex is my least favorite to build I love flying it but I hate building it the frame itself um, it's not as easy as these frames so with these I'm just gonna take the arms you see the one hole here and then another screw is gonna go here and you can see on the bottom plate where you have the impressed nuts. So what I do is I flip this over and these just line them up on top of the ones that have the silver pressed nut in them. Once you line those up, they don't have to sit perfect at first. They're gonna end up getting bumped and moved around until you actually bolt them down. I like to get them lined up and I'll take the bottom plate Put that over top. I'm going to take the longest screws that come inside of the package. I'm not sure exactly what size to be honest. There's only three different sizes of screws. And these are going to be the long ones. I'm going to call these the medium ones. And these are small. But for the arms and the bottom plate we're going to be using the big ones right now. And all you're going to need is a 2mm hex driver. And that's all you need for the whole build. I'll feed it through there. Just enough to get it started. I'm going to do that on all four. Get one bolt in and then we'll set them get them where they need to be so I'll actually loosen that up a little bit so I have some play on the other side you don't want to lock it down too tight because you won't be able to get these pieces in Now when you have all four in, you can make it a little bit snug, but still don't hammer down on it. Still have to get these other four in to hold the arms. I'll get them all just hand tight. And once they're all touching and everything's flat, always look in here, make sure there's no gaps in between the plate and the arms. Same on the other side, looks good. Now we'll tighten down all of them. I like to start with the ones in the middle, work my way out. So that's that. Now we're going to go ahead and start putting the standoffs on. So you're going to have eight standoffs. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is going to be the back of your quad. Up here is where your side plates go for your camera. And I use the medium screws for the bottom. Uh, it just gives it a little, little more peace of mind knowing that it's going to be holding them on tight. Uh, 
the top screws are really just holding on that bottom plate. So I like putting those on the bottom, get a little more reinsurance. Okay, now that all the standoffs are on, we're going to go ahead and put the side plates for your camera in position. And the only step that follows that will be to screw down your top plate and get ready for a drone build. These are never fun for any company or frame to get in. You always got to play with it and mess with it to get it fit perfectly now that I'm looking at it make sure that you have there's three little cutouts right here one two three make sure you're putting them on the right side you will be able to put the piece upside down with just the two one two but it's not going to fit right when you go to put your top plate on so just make sure you're putting the three piece part down below that way you don't run into any problems oh, and that one slid right in oh, we're almost there Once we get this bolted down, the frame build will be complete and then it will be on to getting some electronics inside of it, getting it in the air. As of right now, I'm unsure of what props I'm going to run on this. It does say it will take 5 inch to 5 and a half inch. So I'm curious to test that out. Try putting a five and a half inch prop on here. Sadly, I don't have any with me at this moment. I will have to order some. But as far as motors, um, I'll be going with the T Motor F60 1750 kV, is what I run on all my drones. And then along with the T Motor 55 amp stack and a DJI O3 air unit. That I'm curious about, because I have not heard if this frame takes well to the O3. And what I mean by that is, when you mount the O3 air unit into the older frames, or just frames that aren't specifically made for the O3, it doesn't sit, the camera doesn't sit far enough out, and you get the, the standoffs come up in your video. Which isn't a big deal, but... Who wants to see standoffs while they're freestyling? I know I don't. And that is how you build a gank multi-rotor frame. This just has to be on the top of my list for the easiest frame builds, which makes me a fan. I have not flown one of these yet, so I do not know how strong it is, but I will be putting that to the test, and it will be coming in a future review. As of right now, on to the build. I will be posting that. And I appreciate if you guys like and follow.